hello guys and welcome back if you remember in previous part we retrieved a single object data now in this part we're going to retrieve the complete list of data here you can see that we have uh, we already used the add value event listener to retrieve a single data now we're going to use something different to get the complete list so now first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to hide this one over here and let me just delete this text view and let's add something uh maybe a list view here just drag it and drop it out here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to properties panel and i'm gonna give it an id of user list all right now hit enter move to the activity file uh the main activity now i'm gonna remove this text view from here and also this complete list over here now instead I'm gonna remove this child right over here now you can see that I have just created an instance of database uh, Firebase database now I'm gonna include that list view right here and let's call it M user list all right and let's put it right over here m user list is going to be equal to list view and find view by id and that is uh, r dot id dot name view or or maybe that is user list yeah so the next thing that we want to do is go to our Firebase database and I'm going to start adding a few usernames right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply type in 01 and it's going to be uh, What do you call it? Maybe you can assign some username to it, right? Okay, so right now we have two users right here now what we want to do to retrieve this uh, list of data and to show it inside a list view what you want to do is you need two things one is array list and another one is array adapter now I'm just gonna simply run the app right now so uh, till the time we are finished coding it's gonna uh, do the gradle build sync now uh, come right here and create a private array list and type string and I'm gonna give it and give it the name uh, I'm gonna call it M username right or maybe names or whatever you want to call it then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna create an array list uh, sorry array adapter same as the type string and I'm gonna call it array adapter new array adapter string and we need to pass in three uh, parameters one is the context another one is the resource uh, layout resource now we don't need to create a new one because we can use uh, what's by default provided by Android which is simple list item one and lastly you need to pass in the uh, list of your array list sorry the usernames so I'm gonna just type in M usernames and let's uh, finish it using the semicolon all right so we have created the array adapter and we have also uh, what do you call it uh, created a list list view or oh, sorry uh, array list right here now what you want to do is uh, you need to use another event to get the value now instead of using add value event listener what we are going to use is on child uh, something like that I'm gonna go to the docs to confirm and I'm gonna go to Android get started guide and let's move down to the re real-time database for Android and read and write data work with list of data all right now to work with list of data we need to use the child event listener yeah that's the one we are looking for now I'm gonna just come right here and uh, first of all let's set the uh let's say m what do you, what do you have here m database yeah that's the one we are going to use because that's the one we have uh the instance 
of our database so uh, dot add child event listener and new child event listener now once you do this you can see that this will create multiple uh, methods of data now what these are going to do exactly is here you can see that in this method on child edit it will run once uh, once the data is added to the database or uh, when you run the app that's basically the same thing another one is on child changed and now this is going uh, this is going to run when any of the data that you have uh, you, uh, you have stored here is changed and same for the child remove uh, which will run when you will remove any data from your database same for the child move or if you get any error now these are uh, lots of method to work with but we are gonna work with the child edit for right now now right so let's come down here and start typing in our code to get the data and present it in our uh, list view now before that what we forgot is to set the array adapter to our list view now what I'm gonna do is M uh, where we have user list dot set array adapter set adapter and we're gonna use our array adapter all right so now we have set the adapter as well and I'm gonna move to the child added all right and let's get the value from data snapshot so I'm gonna use string and I'm, I'll call it uh, value and we're gonna use data snapshot to get value and the value is going to be the type string all right yep now once we retrieve the value from uh, using the data snapshot now you need to make sure the link the instance that you are using is right now at the root of our firebase database now whatever we, pla we place inside the root is going to be considered as a list of the item that we are going to work with now if you type in maybe you use some child to get the uh, users now you need to make sure that now your list should be inside another child that is users then you can include uh, sub childs like 01 02 and many more now this is not necessary to use same as I'm doing it but just for the basics I'm gonna show you some examples and then we're gonna move to some advanced parts where we are going to work with really complex data and uh, many more stuff so uh, anyways here we have our string value now what we are going to do is I'm gonna append this uh, value to our list of uh, users so what we can do is m usernames dot add and we are going to add the value and lastly what we need to do is uh, for our array adapter notify data set change so it will know that uh, to refresh the data now I'm going to run the app so our gradle build shouldn't take too much long because we already uh, did that once so the app is running now and unfortunately the app stopped working now i'm gonna go to the let it initialize android monitor and let's see what we did wrong now here you can see that unable to start activity component info and null point exception right uh, list size on a null object reference all right so to solve this uh, actually one thing we forgot to do is uh, it, it's uh, throwing the null point exception on our array adapter now where you create your array adapter what you need to do uh, sorry array list really sorry about that you just need to type in new array list and leave it blank you don't need to fill out anything uh, so let me just run the app once again and see if we get any other error or not so wait for the gradle build to run and and there we go so our app is running uh, once the data is loaded wait for it bam there you can see that we have just retrieved a set of data from the firebase database now uh, let me show you one thing really quickly and which is if i add one more data right here uh it's gonna retrieve that real time so i'm gonna 
just for you guys i'm gonna just take off a few little bit of space over here I'm gonna let's add in one data uh, one more user and let's name it david and hit enter and once it's done there you can see that it has just appended the data right below it now this is pretty useful and if you create your own custom layout for that uh, you can retrieve a few more stuff like description for that or maybe some other things but just for right now you can practice retrieving the data from the database and uh, we can then later move on to the other methods of uh, add child event listener which is on child change remove move or cancelled now uh, that's it for this part we're going to move to next part with uh, another method so c 